age cuties. Your good afternoon just got even more awesome. Now, thanks to the powers of social media, we can all be anyone we want at any time with a little help from Photoshop and some smoke and mirrors, of course. Elon Musk tweeted out these convincing pics looking slightly more ripped than usual and a lot like The Rock, along with the caption, yeah, I lift a little, so if you ever wonder what Elon the Musk Johnson would look like, there you go. Shazza Karpashian coming soon to my IG account. I'm not kidding. I'm Sharon Carpenter for now, your unfiltered presenter at your phone's epicenter. And we have a very special shout out for the one, the only Alex Trebek. We love you and we are with you 100% for sure. Now season three of HQ is just around the corner. We've got some really exciting stuff in store for you. Lots of fun surprises and tons of points in cash as well. You won't see any points in this particular game because you're playing for money today, baby. In fact, right now you're playing for $2,500. Enough to hire your own personal Photoshopper. Just think you too could be jacked like Dwayne Johnson without all that hard work. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Let those extra lives help you do the heavy lifting. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. When you use an extra life, you can still play when you get a question wrong. You play HQ five days in a row and you'll score a life for free. You can use it on any round aside from the final one, of course. Not on round 12. It won't work. And I just want to say... Thank you Thank for being a friend. And we are showing our appreciation with Golden Girls trivia tonight. We are traveling down the road and back again with Blanche, Dorothy, Sophia, and Rose. So be there at 9 p.m. Eastern for that. It's going to be so much fun this Sunday. I know you've all been waiting for it. Winter is finally here. HQ is bringing you Game of Thrones trivia. Will you sit on the Iron Throne or be taken out by those savage White Walkers? I hope not. We've got 10 Gs up for grabs that night. It's a lot of cash and that's happening Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Lots of exciting stuff in store. Okay. Are you ready to work up a sweat? It's time to body build your brain right now. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go with Q1. In the UK, late afternoon refreshments are said to take place when? At tea time, in a juice moment, at a milk point. Well, it's late afternoon now. Where are my refreshments? If you went for juice moment, you just lost all your juice in this game. Going past the point of milk and two sugars, it's at tea time, of course. Pinkies up for 158,000 of you. Tea time usually means dinner in Britain or a time to eat some light fare like cucumber sarnies. And surprise, there may or may not be tea involved. Q. Two, during a recent visit to London Science Museum, Queen Elizabeth II made history by posting her first ever what? Instagram photo, TikTok lip sync, Tinder profile. Everyone's talking about it. If the Queen joined Tinder, that would be a whole other type of headline. A scandalous one, much more pleasing to Prince Philip, is Instagram photo. And there she is posting away in a fashion only the queen would do. Not a regular smartphone, don't know what that contraption is. Maybe a tablet. Instagram photo is the answer we were looking for. 146,000 if you are ready for your close up. Now that Lizzie is on IG, make sure you follow Royal Etiquette and don't even think about sliding into those DMs. Q3. What city is famous for consistently having more bicycles on the road than cars? Dallas, Amsterdam, Los Angeles. They say, you never forget how to ride a bike. They lied, because I really have forgotten. I fell off last time I tried. No joke. If LA had more bikes than cars, the whole city would come to a grinding halt. Pedaling furiously is Amsterdam. Yes, indeed, lots of bikes in Amsterdam. 135,000 of you are cycling forwards. A whopping third of all trips in the city of Amsterdam take place on two wheels. With all those weed cafes around, probably. The safer bet, that's wise. Q4. In the US, matryoshka figures are more commonly known as what? Troll dolls, garden gnomes, Russian nesting dolls. Got any matryoshka figures at home? 
I had a troll doll named Matty because his hair was all matted, but not Matryoshka, meaning little matron. It's Russian nesting dolls. That's the other name for them. And you are a doll if you got that right. 104,000 of you did. You're reproducing to the next round. The dolls do look pretty matronly, don't they? And they aren't that much fun to play with either. I'll stick to my busy gal Barbie, thanks. Q5. Oh, What a Beautiful Morning is a song from what classic musical? Carousel, Oklahoma, The King and I. Oh, what a beautiful day. Beautiful afternoon, right now. Where's this song from? Three Rogers and Hammerstein musicals, but which one enjoys being a morning person? Dropping the G here, Oklahoma. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful voice. Oh, what a beautiful answer. If you tapped on Oklahoma, 89,000 of you did. Well done to you. Oklahoma first made it to Broadway in 1943 and has enjoyed multiple revivals since. Hopefully you've been revived with an extra life if you didn't get that one correct. Q6. Which of these orange varieties is an ancestor of the other two? Mandarin, Naval, Valencia. Do you feel the squeeze? Squeezing you a little tighter here. Three juicy options, but which one's the wrinkly granddaddy of the bunch? Aren't you glad you tapped on Mandarin? I'm wearing a Mandarin colored dress right now. 48,000 of you, you've got the juice in the game. You likely think of navel oranges when you hear the term orange and Instagram filters when you hear the term Valencia. It's the queen's favorite filter. Q7, which of these animals is a canine? Jackal, wolverine, hyena. Who let the dogs out? We don't care, we wanna know who is the dog. The canine we speak of. A wolverine also goes by the name Skunk Bear. Suddenly the X-Men character doesn't seem quite as cool. You dirty dog, it's a jackal, your jackal and hiding on to the next round if you got that correct. 27,000 of you did, that was a brutal question right there. Hyenas do kind of look doggish, but they're actually related to cats. Who's laughing now? Q8. Which of these holidays usually takes place on the first calendar day of spring? Assyrian New Year, uh, Persian New Year, Chinese New Year. Spring is almost sprung. Lucky for you, you've got one last chance to stick to your resolutions. Unlucky for you if you didn't tap on Persian New Year, because that is the correct answer. Celebration for 15,914 of you. The Chinese characters for Chinese New Year literally mean spring festival. So why does it take place in winter then? Let me know in the chat if you know. Q. Nine. In a US Supreme Court case such as Marbury v. Madison, which of the two parties is the defendant? Marbury, Madison, neither. Who's the defendant here? Defend yourselves. Possibly the most important case in Supreme Court history, but the only thing important here is who's the defendant? It's Madison. That's who. 8,801 of you with the right verdict. Just like Brown v. Board of Education, Bush v. Gore, and Roe v. Wade, no matter who wins, the defendant comes in second place. Q10. The so-called Hubble sequence describes the shape of what? Galaxies, asteroid belts, telescope lenses. What's that Hubble about though? The Hubble sequence. Hubble bubble, toil and trouble. You're in trouble now if you went for telescope lenses because it's far from it. Galaxies, the shape of galaxies is the answer we were looking for. 8,404 of you shooting stars got that correct. The Hubble is the name of a fancy space camera but the Hubble sequence is obviously something very different. The penultimate round. Q11, what key biblical figure is considered by Catholics to be the first Pope? Paul, James, Peter. The first ever Pope, going way, way back. They all played big roles in the Bible, but who had the starring role as the first Pope? Hope you picked Peter. That is the answer, 8,192 of you prayed for it, you got it. Peter is considered the first bishop of Rome and therefore the most superior bishop of all bishops ever. Rosaries 
at the ready because we are speeding on our poop mobiles on to the final round with 8192 players left in the game another 200 using extra lives to get back in we've got 2500 dollars in the bag Good luck players, it's Q12. Which of these continents does not have any native polar bears? Europe, Antarctica, North America. None of our furry, fuzzy friends in this place. Polar bears are only found natively in five countries. If you thought you'd never run into one here in America, you're wrong, because they roam Alaska. The name must be a giveaway, right? You can find them in both poles, or can you? You can't, it's Antarctica for the win. We've got 5,124 winners, you smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 5,124 winners today. That was a nice, cold win right there. You're taking on 49 cents. Oh, who's the little cutie right there? It's ZJ Myers. Uh, we've got CNB White. Uh, Wraith over there. We've got J Whammy. That was a whammy of a win today. Marky Noel. Uh, looking like some sort of a postman, mailman over there. Uh, but well done to all of you. You could save up to, for a trip to Antarctica with that kind of cash right there. 49 cents. Not bad at all. Well done, HQTs. That was an intense workout. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm still sweating. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me. Stop by. Say hi. Don't be shy. We're back tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern with Golden Girls Trivia. It's going to be a blast, followed by words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, of course. Until then, everyone have an epic rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.